What's up, guys? It's your boy Richie. Um, this is for all the T-Mobile Wing users who want to erase their actual newer ROM and put the original T-Mobile Wing ROM on there. Um, just to let you know, um, if you guys are using if you guys are using a ROM that has a lot, gives your phone a lot of space, um, which is the one I'm using right now, if you if you're using the Carbon Alicia version 4.3 ROM that I put in the Windows 6.1 video I suggest you keep that that gives you the utmost space in your phone where you can add you know more and more programs and still have your computer uh, your phone run really really nice and smooth um, I'm gonna be doing future videos on overclocking and also future videos on how to put video games on your phone such as Super Nintendo Nintendo uh, I've been getting a lot of requests from my boy uh, Hawks fan, so let's go out to him. But anyways, this one right here. Uh, let's see here, real quick. Um, this is to put your original factory settings on your T-Mobile Wing. All you gotta do is go to the link in about this video, type in the code. Uh, that won't work because I only did one capital. All right, oh, Q A. Download. Now they're gonna make you wait 43 seconds for you to download it. It's fine. I just want to appreciate. I appreciate all you guys' comments on my videos and all your requests. I try to fulfill them as quickly as possible. Um. I'm not that busy of a guy, but I am a busy guy, so. <laughs> and this video right here goes out to my boy, uh, Turn Off the Radio. He's the one who wants to know how to, you know, get back to original factory settings. And you also have to do this. If you need to send your phone back for anything, you need to, you know, and you got custom ROMs on your phone, they're not going to take it. <laughs> Alright, so we're at one second now. Free download, here we go. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna it's gonna say opening T-Mobile Wing software version uh, 4.261. You want to save the file. Now I already have it saved. I'm just gonna cancel this. But when you save it, try to save it somewhere where you know where it is. So I'm gonna minus this down. Minus this down. Now I have my T-Mobile Wing software right here. It's in it's, in its own separate folder and this is what the EXE program looks like now what you want to do you're gonna right click this well you're just gonna double click it if you have Windows Vista it's gonna say do you allow this if you have Windows XP I'm not sure what it says I haven't tried this with XP yet but either way it's gonna do the same thing open you can press allow now what it's gonna do is this is an automatic program if you already have flash sensor on your phone you're good really it extracts every single thing that it needs to go on your phone and now what you're gonna do you wanna plug you're gonna have wanna keep your phone in plugged in before you even do this so plug your phone should be plugged into your computer you're gonna say you understand the caution next complete the steps make sure you have active sync connected with your phone next now it's gonna it's gonna read the information on your phone my phone's not plugged in at all so it's gonna say an error it's gonna read the information on your phone it's gonna ask you if you want to update the ROM with the version 4.26.5 whatever that's the original T-Mobile ROM and you just press OK it's pretty easy once you have flash sensor on your phone from the last video you can go on there and find any ROM for your phone that you can and all you need to do is take that raw file, extract it to the RUU folder. This is a little bit different because this is just an executable program that runs by itself. Um, but that's all you gotta do. Uh, if you guys got any other suggestions for videos or topics or something that you don't know, uh, if your cell phone broke or whatever, just let me know. See, I got the uh, error connection. So, but that's all you gotta do to get the original T-Mobile Wing software on your phone. You got any other questions? Holla at your boy. Peace.